All four operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, can be represented on the mathematical balance. In addition to solutions, the mathematical balance gives students a conceptual representation of multiplication and division. For example, five weights on six is the same as three weights on 10. Also read, five on six is the same as 10, 20, 30. Also read, five times six equals 30. Likewise for division, 45 divided by six equals seven remainder three. This is represented by hanging four weights on 10 and one weight on five on one side of the beam. The solution is then achieved by hanging weights on the sixth peg until the beam is balanced. Then one counts how many weights it took to balance 45. It took seven and three more. Therefore, the answer is seven remainder three. If mathematics consisted only of arithmetic, it might not matter if students ever acquired a relational view of equals. However, a relational understanding of equals is fundamental to the study of algebra. Consider the following properties for addition and multiplication. The commutative properties, a plus b equals b plus a, and ab equals ba. The associative properties, a plus b plus c equals a, plus b plus c, and ab times c equals a times bc. The distributive property, a times b plus c equals ab plus ac. If seven does not equal seven, or six plus four does not equal seven plus three, the algebraic definitions just given are going to be beyond student's reach. This confusion over the relational meaning of the equal sign is one of the reasons so many of our students are doing so poorly in algebra. This confusion about the equal sign persists for some into high school and college, and hence, confusion about the rules of what one can and cannot do to the left and right sides of equations.